Hey everybody, we're at Diamond and Shoe Loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Diamond video. Kid with cancer bullied for being bald. What happens next is shocking. Let's get into it, guys. Guys, I'm telling you, no one can hold a candle to Steph Curry. LeBron James. Oh, what is this, bro? <laughs> Lakers? Hey, give me my hat. I mean, come on, man. I'm doing you a favor. Don't wear this. Come on, Tyler. Just give me my hat. You want it? You can have it. Come on, just give me my hat back. All right, you can have it. Just take it. Stop playing. Just give him his so hat enough. back, Tyler. OK, OK, hold on. I'll give it to you. Oh, sorry. Come on, little man. Let's test out that ver- Dude, stop being a jerk. You got a death wish? Why would you do that, Cameron? Because you're being a jerk and making fun of him, and that ain't cool. Bro, he has a Lakers hat on. I mean, that's almost as bad as a 76ers hat. Take this off. Aw. Uh. Yo. <laughs> What happened to your hair, dude? What's going on? Give me back my hat, Tyler. Oh, I remember. You got that cancer thing now, don't you? Ugh, stay away from me, bro. Seriously, Tyler? Yeah, not cool. All right, whatever. You and don't nobody make fun of uh, people with cancer. Like, even high school students, like, I've never seen this. Like, I've never seen high school kids laugh about somebody having cancer or bullying somebody because they have cancer because everybody understood, well, where I'm from, they they understand that, like, that's a serious, serious, you know, matter. You can have the hat back, cancer. Oh, I mean, Cameron, I'm so sorry. Tyler. What? They sound so similar. You're so rude. Thanks. Dude, ignore him, okay? Yeah, you didn't deserve that. Sorry. Feels good, right? That's interesting. Thanks. <laughs> oh, hey, Kim. Come sit with us. Why well, you know Are you okay? Better? We heard about what happened earlier with Tyler. Sorry you had to deal with that. So messed up, man. Yeah, I'll be all right. I know you're going through a lot, and you shouldn't have to deal with that on top of everything. Thanks. That looks good, though. Why Look, do I feel like they got a lot of makeup on him, bro? Because he just, you know, it just you could just see, like, the, the coloration, the discoloration of his kind of smoothies, then? Uh, it's fruit and a bunch of other random things. I don't have a big appetite these days, so I drink these instead. Do you want to try it? Yeah, sure. Wait, wait. Don't drink that. You're gonna catch it. Catch what? what? Catch what? The, he always the... got a butt in somebody else's conversation. Mind your own business, bro. Cancer? What else? You can't catch cancer, Tyler. Grow up. Oh, okay, doctor. Well, why don't you try it then, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, everyone, Cameron's got the cancer, so stay away from him, okay? <laughs> stay away. Oh, buddy, what is me. wrong with you, Tyler? Buddy, buddy, I'm just looking out for you guys' safety here, okay? Let's make a little PSA. All right, here, smile for the camera. Hey, stop. Okay, that's enough, Tyler. Shoot, shoot. Eh, that's good. All right, no, I think the whole school should probably know about this guy. Uh, you'll see, though. You'll see. Oh, and... Oops. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> I'm, fine. I'm fine. You okay? I'm fine. I'm uh, fine. Okay, I'll go get you some no, no, more no, napkins, no. okay? I got okay. it, I got it. We still have a few minutes left, so everyone please be quiet. <coughs> How the heck did he just text everybody, dude? No way he would have my number. What did he text them? What? What the? Might want to check your uh, airdrop there, Cameron. There we okay, go. that's enough, Tyler. Seriously, man, it's so wow. dumb. Don't let this guy get to you. Cameron. Aww. Cameron. Cameron, the bell hasn't rung yet. Where? Would you do that, Tyler? What if someone did this to you? I feel What's... like teachers need to be more aware. Now, you didn't just hear everybody's phone go off and look at the students and look at how all of them look, and then you could have tell, you could have told, you could see that something was clearly going wrong, that was wrong. You know what I'm saying? You could see that something was wrong. 
So what? I mean, the guy can't take a little teasing. How do you guys expect him to beat cancer? Tyler, I need to see you after class. Okay. Hey, what's going on? I'm fine. Oh. Stop. There we go. Okay, that's enough, Tyler. What in the world is... It's nothing, Dad. Can we just go now? Wait, son, if there's someone at I school... I said there's nothing wrong, Dad. Okay, look, I just... I just don't want to be late to chemo, okay? How's he doing, Doc? Really? He's doing okay, considering. I did notice that his vitals were a little off today. Nothing concerning, but noticeable. Well, that's what I figured. Is something happening? At school. But I don't know what. And he won't tell me. Well, he did shave his head. And that can be a pretty traumatic part of this process for a lot of our patients. I figured that'd be the last of someone with cancer's worries. It can make someone feel isolated, all alone, especially someone Cameron's age. Dad, where are you? We're going to be late. Well? What did you do? He shaved his head. How do I look? <laughs> you didn't have to do that. I know this is hard for you. I just want to let you know that you're not alone. I'm right here with you. I don't know about that. I mean... I know I'm not the one that's fighting cancer, but that is a I'm mean. not talking about that, Dad. Yeah, it it sucks losing my hair. I have no energy and no appetite. But you know what the hardest part of all is? Getting made fun of at school. As if I already don't have enough problems to deal with. I'm so sorry, Cameron. Is there anything that I can do? No. You've already done enough already, but thanks. Dang. No, come on. We're going to be late. Nah, he shouldn't be like that. Your dad just trying to be there for you and support you while you're going through this hard, tough time. <clears throat> you know, Cameron, I was thinking you should really have a hazmat suit or something, because you're going to get one of us sick. Leave me alone, Tyler. Don't get mad at me, buddy. I'm just looking out for our fellow student body here. He said leave him alone, Tyler. It's over. Oh, cute. She you got a little uh, bodyguard. She shaved her head. I bet you she did, because she got a hood up. You know, now she's about to take her hood off. Hard, huh? <laughs> no, but she's his support he system. He shaved his head, too. A lot of we people shaved are. their head. What, what is this? What's going on here? You got the whole gang? Cameron, we know we can't take the cancer away, but we can stand in solidarity with you. <laughs> Yo, no way. You guys all shaved your heads for this guy? <laughs> We're with you, Cameron. Yeah, we've got your back. I don't know what to say. Well... I'd say you guys look pretty dumb, but I don't know. That's just me, so. How could you be so mean, Tyler? I mean, imagine if you had cancer. Or, or someone you love had cancer. Yeah, it's not right. easy, man. My mom had breast cancer. Twice. She beat it. But every week felt like it was going to be my last week with her. Yeah. And my little sister had cancer. She was only four years old. She was in the hospital for months. It was horrible. I lost my teacher. My aunt passed away. My grandma. We all know someone who's had cancer. Just because you don't, Tyler, doesn't mean you have to be so mean to Cameron. Right. Don't know what to say. Thank you, guys. 
so much. You have no idea how hard it's been for me. It's nice to know I'm not alone. We've got your back. You're not alone. Hi, you have a visitor. Sir, you can come on in. No, he didn't expect for it to be him, and I bet you he just shaved his head, too. Hey, hey, my dad's right outside, so if you try anything, I swear I'll I, scream. I'm not here to start anything, Cameron. I'm actually here to apologize. I also wanted to tell you that I support you, too. Wow, I was not expecting that. Yeah, I bet. But, you know, after hearing everyone else at school talk, it kind of reminded me of some past memories. What do you mean? Cameron, my dad died when I was seven. It was, it was cancer. I just, I always had a hard time dealing with it as a kid. And now it's just, I think I teased you because it was my way of dealing. And you made fun of him, and your dad had cancer. And with the pain, but it's no excuse. I'm really sorry. Wow, Tyler, I, I had no idea that you lost your dad too. I couldn't imagine my life without mine. It hasn't been easy, but I mean, this can't be easy either. So I just want you to know that I'm sorry. You're good, man. I appreciate you doing this. Hey, Cameron. Are you ready? Your vitals are much better today, so that's pretty great. Yeah, well, it helps when I have the best dad ever. And friends. Well, I should uh, probably be getting going. But uh, I'll see you at school, Cameron. No, you can stay if you want. Karen and I are gonna go watch the game app. Yeah, the uh, the Warriors are playing the 76ers tonight. I don't know if you want to see Steph lose, but <laughs> oh, this guy's got jokes. And this is a good start to a good friendship, though. Yeah, I'll tag along, but uh, only if you promise not to cry when Steph gets a triple double on Philly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Okay. No. laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos, and I'm out.